Um, hey guys, uh, just gonna do a video on kind of how to walk the trigger, just some ways that I do it, um, some ways that kind of make it easier, some ways you shouldn't do it, uh, just some general stuff like that. Um, gonna try to do a quick video. If it's five minutes or longer, I'll do a part two, just because um, I don't like making ten minute videos. They they take a while for me to upload. Um, but yeah, so if you didn't know, walking the trigger is pretty much whenever you just Put two fingers in here, pull once, pull twice, pull once, pull twice, okay? So just as fast as you can, I can't do it without it. Okay, um, so it's basically taking two fingers, putting them inside, and going like this, really fast. I can't do it really fast like that, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the first thing you need to know when walking the trigger is it's not just going to be really easy the first time you do it. I mean, I'm still learning or trying to get better at left-handed. Um, and I'm still trying to get better at right-handed too, I mean, I'm not amazing at it. But yeah, um, this trigger frame, um, I kind of like it, or not the frame, the trigger, just because um, the way it's shaped, like, I think it makes it a little easier to walk than like the um, PMRs or the SLGs. Um, they're kind of hard to walk, like, I'm not saying the trigger's bad, but it's not as good for um, semi-automatic play, okay? So, um, these triggers on the Ego's, Ego 8, this right here, um, they just kind of come down, then sweep forward, then come back in. So you can really, I just like the feel of it, because um, the bottom, my bottom finger doesn't go back as far as my top finger, um, so it kind of just makes it easier to pull, you know, uh, you don't have to pull it my bottom finger as far and it, it'll just go just as fast than the ones that are like straight down or kind of like that. Okay, so here's some of the just different types of triggers I kind of drew up. Um, try to get it here. This is one. Uh, it's kind of this one you'd see on the Lux. Uh, it's just a big wide swipe trigger. This one, uh, the Spider um, Electra. No, not the Electra, the, um, one of the spiders has it, but it just, I think the, forgot the name of it, but, um, just one of the spiders has that, just stay away from those kind of triggers, they don't work very good, um, this is another one, I think the, this is more of what the, um, SRGs have, just kind of a gradual sweep, unlike this, where it's a huge sweep, um, these, most mechanical, mechanical guns have this, it looks like a three, uh, not very good for walking the trigger. These are the kind I like. The they're the ones that are on. Um, they're the ones that are on the egos and the um, geos, and I think the um, the um, dangerous power guns. Uh, but yeah, so uh, some ways that people may walk the trigger. Uh, just hand placement um, is a big thing like I normally just keep my hand in the normal place like if I was gonna hold a normal gun and I just put my other finger up there I try to walk like that instead of going way out here or holding it like this this is don't do this um, it's, you may be able to go a little faster but look you're gonna get shot in the hand I mean that's way bigger profile than this okay um, even your elbow is out farther so just try to get in tight and um, try to just keep working at it and a way to get better is what I found is you just put two fingers in here and if you can't do it at all just go and you'll get faster gradually that's what I did with my left hand uh, I'm not amazing yet but <laughs> see I, I kind of suck at left handed right now but okay even just Okay, you just, it's just, that's just a good way to learn, um, or kind of just train yourself to walking it. And if you have the problem where you can't walk the trigger, like you're pulling the trigger back and, um, it's just staying back, like, that's one of the biggest problems I had whenever I first got, uh, my first paintball gun, um, it was an old spider, but it was electric, so I'd pull the trigger and just hold it back with one, 
not let go until like that one got there and then you just end up not shooting at all maybe once okay that's not good um you want to try and uh just keep going like if you have to just uh a way to get around that is whenever you first um want to whenever you're trying to not do that just touch the grip frame like it might not be as fast but then once you get that down you can come off of it a little bit okay and then you don't have to touch the grip frame touch the grip frame okay um another way i've seen people do it is i'm gonna go to part two um just because it's five minutes so see you then